Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Ranking Spatial Data by Quality Preferences. Ranking Spatial Database based on quality preferences involves providing user the location of a particular object along the ranking quality of the objects based on the standards provided for ranking particular object. Spatial Database is fully involved about the geographical things. Spatial databases provided structures for storage and analysis of spatial data. Ranking of an individual spatial data highly depends on the neighborhood data from the spatial database. Enhanced brand and bound algorithm takes input as a search result of search algorithm to produce top most objects according, according to the quality of features for search objects. In proposed, we have Harvest Sign Algorithm. It is proposed to handle the spatial data corresponding to the user, user's current location, the distance in kilometer from the given spatial data. The quality is ranked based on the object service quality and also infrastructure quality. The mapping is based on the latitude and longitude values retrieved from the GPS and the database. The quality of the hotel is found by getting feedback from number of users based on the service provided by the hotel. Now I am going to explain the architecture of our project. This is the architecture of our project in which the, u the user can search the hotels according to the top levels. For our project, we have two databases like quality analysis and spatial data. In spatial data databases, the particular data are stored in this database and can be extracted by using the have assigned algorithm. In quality analysis, the hotels are ranking at the list. After that ranking, the hotels are listed. After that, we can see the location in the Google Maps. For our project, we have four modules, spatial ranking, non-spatial ranking, top K retrieval, and then, and then location mapping. In spatial ranking, distance between two spatial data in kilometers is calculated using Havasan algorithm. The distance calculated is direct distance between two places. The reference point is taken from GPS, which specifies the current location of the users. Next one is non-spatial ranking. In every standard, it is rated by well based on the reply provided by the hotel, based on this rating provided by the users. Rank to a particular hotel is assigned. The infrastructure of the hotel is shown to the user as flash video. Considering this quality, user can check particular hotel located at a particular distance. Third one is top care travel. The number of hotels location along with the quality rating at a particular city is shown to the user. Non-spatial ranking which orders the objects by an aggregate function on their non-spatial values. On their non-spatial values. Last one is location mapping. User can verify their current location and hotels location on the Google Maps. Now I'm going to show the demo of our project. This is our project. We have to run the project first. In our project, we have four modules. This is the home page for our project. The first module is a spatial ranking. Spatial ranking means it contains the distance between the two spatial data in kilometer is calculated using Haver's line algorithm. The distance calculated is the distance calculated is a direct distance between the two places. The reference point is taken from GPS, which specifies the current location of the user. And the next one is non-spatial, and the next one is non-spatial ranking. It means in every standard is rated by user based on the receipt provided by the hotel administration. Based on this rating provided by the user, rank to a particular hotel is assigned. The rank to a particular hotel is after assigned. The infrastructure of the hotel is shown to the user as flash video. Considering their quality, user can check particular hotel, correlated a particular distance. 
and then the third model is top K retrieval. The number of hotels location along with the quality rating at a particular city is shown to the user. Non special ranking which orders the object by objects by an aggregate function on the non spatial values. And the final module is location mapping. It's just nothing but user can verify their current location and hotel's location on the Google map. In which, in spatial module, we can see the top K retrieval and the location mapping. Top K retrieval means here that top level hotels are viewed by the user and can book rooms into the hotel. So first, we can look into the spatial. So if we click the spatial means we can view this page. In this page, we can view this our location, our latitude, longitude, and then this is the search hotels. If we click the search hotels means already uh, updated uh, data are retrieved from the database. So here we can use the number of hotels. Um, <coughs> Here we can use the number of hotels updated by the uh, means. So if hotels are uh, listed with the rank and then quality mark out of 10 and then distance in kilometers. So now we can view this hotel is ranked with 1. So uh, when user want to book the hotel, book the room in this hotel means just click this hotel and then click the details means this page uh, will be open uh, in which we can view this cardamom house. That means uh, the user want to book the room. Uh, the hotel will be displayed here. Uh, here, uh, the, the date of joining is uh, given by the user, and then date of uh, uh, quite is uh, referred here. And then number of uh, any number of room, how many number of rooms he wants uh, information is available here. And then how many adults are going to be staying in that room, and then how many children are uh, going to be staying in that room also get in get in this page. And then what type of room is also can be get by the user. So here we can uh, view that la luxury villa and uh, deluxe club and standard club. So if the user click the luxury villa means he first uh, click the check availability. If we click the check availability means it will show whether the room is available or not. So now the room is available and then the rate is also displayed. So after viewing this the user can book the room. So now click the uh, book now button means it will show the message as booking done successfully so after uh, after clicking the booking uh, user want to click the map means he will click the map and can view the map in the google page here with two models are completed and then non spatial in the non-spatial, uh, feedback is uh, given uh, given by the user. So here the hotel name can be given by the user. He can give hotel name as anything. And then hotel ID he can give. And then uh, he can fill the availability and guarantee of the hotel, communication of the hotel peoples and standardization of the hotel and expectation of the hotel and behavior of the peoples in the hotel and engagement of the hotel, humanity behavior in the hotel uh, staffs and then safety of the hotel are uh, these marks are given by the users. So after submit, so after the, after filling so after filling this information, user can click the submit button. If we click the submit button, it means it will show the message as feedback accepted. That means that uh, feedback is accepted by the hotel management. Uh, after that, uh, personal experience also shared by user, <coughs> which user can give the particular hotel name or what from the, where, uh, where he stayed. Uh, where he stayed and the customer name, he gives uh, he give their name and then uh, they give the personal experiences uh, whether it is good or bad or something uh, or something else message are given by that user. So after uh, after entering this, he click the submit button. This feedback is also accepted by the hotel management. In uh, home page also we can view the feed, uh, feedback page. So if we click the feedback page means he will show this page. Uh, he can click the hotel name and the customer name. Uh, he can give he can give the name and then give the personal experience something he can write and then submit and then feedback accepted by the hotel management. Thank you.